How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, spot a bad capacitor. Uh, sometimes uh, without testing the capacitor you can tell it's a, it's, it's a bad capacitor because it shows to be kind of bulky and sometimes it's leaking. Uh, so in this video uh, I just want to show you what it looks like and also I'm going to test uh, this specific capacitor which is uh, visually uh, bad uh, and we're gonna test a good capacitor uh, that has pretty much the same uh, uh, rating uh, microfarads and voltage uh, so as you can see basically what happens is that the, the, the top usually looks kinda round and I'm talking about this one over here this one over here so as you can tell the the top kinda shows kinda to be kinda round it has to be flat uh, like this one over here you see how you see how this one is uh, pretty much flat So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that capacitor out and we're going to test it and also test uh, a good capacitor of the same uh, microfarads and voltage. Okay, so I've now taken the uh, capacitor uh, that, 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 that is showing to be bad. It's kind of bulky at the top as I was describing and so this is a uh, 450 volt capacitor to 22 microfarads and uh, I also have a, a new one over here of the same rating 450 volts to 22 microfarads and as you can tell uh, the difference is this one's a little bit bigger regardless is the same um, the same rating uh, as you can tell the top on this one is pretty much flat this one the top on this one is uh, kind of bulky and also the bottom as you can tell um, the bottom is also right here is kinda it's kinda stripping because it's kinda expanding you can you can see the uh, the aluminum of the casing uh, so that's another sign that you have a bad capacitor when it starts to expand and so we're gonna go ahead and test both capacitors and see uh, so you can tell what the difference is so basically, it should, we should have fairly the 22 microfarads as right in the capacitor. Okay, so we're gonna test the uh, the one that that we can tell is bad. So it's showing 0.129 nanofarads. And for it, so that's that's not a good sign. That's that's a bad capacitor right there. Let's go ahead and test the uh, the good the new one, the good capacitor, and see what the difference is. We should get the 22 microfarads. So we're getting 21.9, which shows that this capacitor is good. It's a new capacitor. Twenty one point nine microfarads and let's just go back and so that you can see that's twenty two point eight 
2 nanofarads. So, yes, this capacitor is bad. So yeah, if you have, if you if you seen if if you see um, a capacitor uh, either on your power supply or anywhere else in your uh, on your uh, on the work board that you're working on, uh, basically you can tell because the capacitor is kind of bulky. It shows that it's kind of expanding, and that's a visual sign. If you don't have a multimeter to test it, that's a good sign that the capacitor is bad. I hope this helps you and please don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.